the American housing market appears to be slowing down. The vibe shift can be seen in both official data and anecdotal evidence from sellers, buyers, and brokers. That's exactly what Jerome Powell asked for. Slowing demand in an overheated market means the Fed's rate hikes are working. Markets were already anticipating these policy shifts, which led to higher mortgage rates. In December, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate was 3.11%. It hit 5.27% this month, the highest level since 2009. If the Fed gets even more aggressive in the coming months, mortgage rates could rise well above 5.5%. A worsening of inflation may force the Fed to become even more aggressive, which may result in further upward pressure on mortgage rates. More importantly, people stop buying. Several listings sit with no showings for weeks. For this reason, new home sales fell 16.6% from March to 591,000 in April, well below economists' expectations of 750,000. Existing home sales, which reflect a larger segment of the market, have also fallen for three straight months, according to the National Association of Realtors. During this time, new housing is being built. The number of unsold new single-family homes increased by 8% in April to 444,000, the highest number in 13 years. Considering the rise of remote work and the low interest rates on mortgages, more people have been looking to upgrade their living space since COVID. As demand soared, bidding wars broke out amid all kinds of wild activity like buyers waiving inspections or begging sellers to select them. But today, they are less flexible about giving realtors whatever they want. From irrational to more rational, the housing market has transformed. At the beginning of the housing bubble, many buyers purchased homes based on speculation and anticipated appreciation that never materialized. As a result of this shift in mentality, buyers are now looking for long-term benefits of ownership and not quick profits. Research shows that more than half of all buyers are families who plan on living in their home for more than five years, and the number of investors who flipped homes has decreased significantly. This new housing market is characterized by higher than normal inventory of homes for sale or existing home sales. With higher inventory comes an increase in price competition among sellers. These factors combined make it very difficult for both buyers and sellers to maximize their profits and minimize their losses when participating in this new housing market. However, this is in 2008. The housing market hasn't begun to collapse. According to Zillow, the median new home price in the U.S. jumped to $450,600 in April, an increase of 45% from two years ago. Despite the bubble's end, there's still a lot of potential demand. In fact, it's predicted that housing sales will be increasing in 2023, as many people who were stuck renting during the recession will finally be able to afford their own home. The housing market could still see a significant rebound. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and turn on notifications.